Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for Wednesday, November 6, 2013. I am Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. The November webinar, it's here going deep into karmic shadows. The solar eclipse, Saturn, all this energy, Mercury retrograde, this goes deep into the whole month. And you know what? I'm sure you're feeling the energy, especially today. This is not only the Sun and Saturn conjuncting, this is Jupiter at its stationary position going retrograde late tonight into the early morning. This is also this crazy energy of the moon slipping into Capricorn as it's going to come over Venus that has just arrived. There is so much happening. And this is, I'm surprised the universe hasn't shut off. <laughs> okay, because Jupiter going retrograde tonight. Neptune is like stopped too. So we've got two big planets that are almost stopped. Mercury retrograding doesn't have many more degrees to go either. It's pretty much stop and slow down for Mercury. Mercury is a fast planet, so it's at a very stop and slow spot. We are at this weird, I'm surprised the universe isn't shut off, and maybe it will after this horoscope. I mean, it's literally like, oh, uh, to freeze frame your life. To understand what you got to overcome now, what your frustrations are, what do you need to do to step into this truth? What do you really want? And it's time. It's time to leave these comfort zones behind. It's time to open up. You know, with Jupiter and Cancer, it's about exploring these emotions, taking the, the true journey of emotions, and the emotions are deeply ruled by the Scorpio energy, which is us really going into what we really want, us going through the bullshit, us going deep into this inner world and you know it's time for you to really see what you must do. I, I, it's clear today, it's clear. The universe has stopped everything and with Mars and Virgo which is adding to the show a very weird energy, you know, there is so much energy in the reality forcing us to be in this reality as the reality is going through so many changes it makes for a very hard tug of war with your spirit as Neptune and Chiron are here. And by the way, Chiron's basically stopped too. There is so much stopped in the universe for us to freeze frame and be in this tug of war between the reality and our spiritual world. So we are at this very weird spot, this shifting zone. I would say that the next 48 hours, especially today, the first 24 is a huge shifting period in your life. And to really not get so frustrated. You know, Sun on Saturn can become depressive today. It could get really serious today. I think that this is about step, getting ready for work, getting ready to do the work, to, to hump over the problems that we're seeing in our life, to hump over the issues of restriction and us not getting what we really want. But there is plans that we must put into place. The moon's going to come into Capricorn today, which I think will add to this feeling as You'll see the beginning of your day start to be like, okay, here, it's just another day, and then <laughs> it's going to all just wham, come upon you, and I think our feelings are going to start to really start to look at our relationships, really start to look at what we're valuing, really start to look at so much, and to making sure that we're feeling good in the plans that we have in our life, that we're feeling good and are we really anchored in our truth? You know, this is all connected. And Mars is sextiling all this, so it's time to really take the actions. And even though, yes, we're stuck in this reality and it, and it can feel very like, this energy can make us feel really weird here for the next couple days. You know, you've got to push through and not escape and do the work here. The universe has really done all this energy for us to do the work and for us to get ready to, you know, take all this expansion that we've been through and readjust our reality correctly. I think that we've explored so many different realms in our inner world and in who we are and I think that it's time to take where we've grown and make the most of it and do more of it and structure our lives to be better. You know, it's a lot like taking a, a wild untamed horse and putting a saddle on it and you know, seeing that actually the tamed horse can really jump over all the hurdles, you know, and it, it's, 
ah, gosh, it's work. It takes, a, it takes some time, you know, but once it clicks into gear here, you're going to see that we step into 2014 and, 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 and really, remember, this is the Pluto-Uranus square at its exact. So if I were to pick any time that could be the most blah, 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 or ugh, you know, we're at the peak of it right now. We're at the peak of it. So, you know, we've made it. And we're here and we're alive and we're grateful to be here and this is a great life. So imagine how much better it's going to get. I mean, this is like the soberest of times you could go through. You know, not even drugs or alcohol or partying can escape you from the work that you have to do now because there's so much to do. You know, and that's what this is about. I could go off on all the specifics and okay, and there's a lot. But if I just take the whole picture, I mean, this is just like at the point in your life where you have to break the mold and, you know, face fears and put the workload in and step into your courage and, and just do it. And it's highlighted today. I think that there's some huge decisions to be made now. Directions to take. Ones that are going to test your ability to, to, to channel from your inner spirit to channel from God. With Neptune at a standstill and Chiron at a standstill and all this energy stopped, you know, it's almost like we're stuck here in the reality with not much of a connection outside like we usually have. It's harder and harder and harder to get the connection here over the next week. And I'll just prepare you for tomorrow when Jupiter's all retrograde and here's the sun off this and the moon's going to conjunct Pluto and square all this and, you know, this is going to be a whole new feeling we step into tomorrow. So, brace yourself here. Things are going to change pretty quick here. And there's going to be a lot of new adjustments here in the next week. So, prepare yourself today. Get the plans together. Start to realize that you have grown quite a bit in your life. It's time to do something with that. It's time for you to know what to do with it. It's time for you to expand your comfort zones. It's time for you to find a way to take care of yourself and it's only by you really doing what you must do, what you know you've got to do, which is deep in the pit of your stomach, which is deep in the pit of who you are, which is deep in the pit of your existence. This is no time for, you know, partying. This is time for working into this truth because what's on the horizon is amazing and what this is already starting to build is amazing. So I hope that that helped. I hope that you guys are doing wonderful out there. I know this can be very um, empowering times though. Sun and Saturn can be very empowering and really bring you everything that you need to the table in your inner world by knowing what the work is, by knowing the plan. That without a plan, that without the foundation of the plan, you can't build crap. You have it. It can be frustrating because there's so much that you have to do. And there's, and, and you know, all this, and Mars is here to support all this. So, and we're stuck in this reality to make it happen, whether we like it or not. There's no escape. There's no escape in our sleep. There's no escape in our dreams. There's no escape in alcohol. There's no escape in drugs. There's no escape. It's very temporary, the escape. And when it, when it goes away, you're right back where you started. So, readjust. Put the work in. Do what you must do. And, you know, it all work out. And remember, this reality is at a really weird stop and a standstill and an eerie spot. So if you're feeling weird, if you see your weird things, if, if things are just weird, it will pass. Trust me, in the next week, things are going to lighten up a lot. Let's just get through this week. Let's get through this time and realize that we're at the peak of the struggle, the peak of the readjustments. Imagine when this is all over, how powerful you are going to be. So check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you have any questions or if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and download the November webinar, thank you for all of your support and I will see you guys for Jupiter Retrograde tomorrow. We'll see what the universe levers pull in the next couple, well, in the next couple hours. See you tomorrow.